Some of the world's greatest technological achievements are products of war. The ongoing quest for the fastest, strongest and most reliable and deadliest weapon pushes technology like no other stimulus. There is no better example of this than the renowned Greek trireme. The trireme is a premier example of political forces and technology working together to shape human history. The Greek trireme is one of the most historic pieces of watercraft in the entire history of the human race. You got big ships, you got hundreds of men, you got big chunks of bronze, you got ships crashing into one another, what's not to like? We find the Greek trireme in the 5th century BC, a time when the Archaemenid Empire, or the first Persian Empire, is one of the largest empires the world has ever seen. The 5th century BC is when our world broke into East versus West. And it happened because Persians, led by a series of great kings who were also great conquerors, decided to add a distant land called Greece to their empire. For the Athenians, protecting their young democracy is crucial. For the first time in history, the notion of rule by the people has taken hold, complete with a voting assembly, a council of 500, and a people's court used to settle disputes. The Greek trireme finds its origin on the famous hill called the Nix in the center of Athens, where the assembly meets. On this particular day, the discussion involves what to do with the newly acquired wealth from a state-owned silver mine. The general consensus is to distribute it among the citizens, but the story changes when the great leader Themistocles stands before the crowd. Themistocles took the stand in the open-air assembly place up on the hilltop, and said, I believe that plan is wrong. We should keep that money together. We should devote it to something that will benefit all of us. We should build ships. We should build warships called triremes. The Athenian assembly votes in support of Themistocles' plan and begins building the most high-tech weapon of the day. What makes the Athenians so memorable as far as triremes are concerned? Over the period of the fifth century, they came up with a design which maximized the variables. And the end result was described for us, as I said, by Thucydides, and we see that the result was astounding. Historians trace the original concept behind the trireme to the Corinthians, or to the Phoenicians. A fast warship is crucial. But in the days when humans power a vessel, a technical dilemma arises. How do you add more rowers to increase a ship's speed, but not make the ship any larger, as doing so will slow it down? The solution is to add a third level of rowers. This is where we get the name trireme. The Greeks improve on earlier designs by adding a third set of rowers, off to the side of the hull that provides better access to the water for their oars. The Greek trireme has 170 oarsmen, each with his own place to sit. These rowers are not slaves, but citizens, and are well-trained and highly skilled. The Greeks engineer the rower's position in a way that maximizes the effectiveness of the human body. Something that we can see in the artwork, but nobody ever noticed. They sit very low in the boats with their rear ends on the same level as their, their feet, and their knees are up. This is the way we row today because we're on a sliding seat, and from an engineering point of view, you double your effectiveness as a rower if you can get the big muscles of the legs, the extensor muscles, into the thrust. In addition to the 170 oarsmen, there are 30 regular crew members, which include sailors, officers, soldiers, and archers. The trireme's captain is the triarch. The trireme stretches 120 feet in length and nearly 20 feet in width. Pine, fir, and cypress are the woods used for the planking and decking of the trireme, while oak, a hardwood is used for the ribs and keel. 
The triremes are light and can achieve speeds of six to eight knots. With a bronze sheath on its nose, the trireme becomes a deadly ram, feared by its enemies. Mystical symbols such as eyes are painted just above the ram, adding an additional layer of intimidation. Let's stop our story for a moment and let curiosity take hold. Pretend you are a 5th century BC laborer, happily employed making triremes. Did you know you were perfecting a technology that will eventually allow the Greeks to create what really smart people call a thalassocracy, an empire at sea? That's what happens. With their newly built triremes, the Greeks ultimately dominate the waters of their world.